All right, good morning, everyone. Okay, welcome back, welcome back. And I have seen you guys uh, physically uh, growth, hopefully uh, spiritually academic growth as well. Um, if you don't mind, would you stand up? Let's uh, grab about five people to say, hi, nice, I mean, good to see you. Welcome back, all right? Please stand up, okay. All right. High five, high five, high five, high five. All right, high five, all right. Brandon, you don't want it? Okay. Okay, please, willing? Okay. So I've seen uh, some younger students a little bit. Uh, you miss your, your bed, maybe home, okay? I'm still like maybe a sleeping time, maybe, right? Woke up, what time did you wake up, by the way? 10 a.m.? 6 a.m. 6 a.m.? Oh, go to church? The 새벽 기도, early prayer meeting? Good, okay, you're holy. Probably I'm going to share my vacation, uh, sort of the uh, personal my trip uh, to U.S. Uh, last uh, few weeks ago. I went to many uh, uh, states and also visited many colleges, about five colleges, uh, about last 10 days. And maybe I'm come up with uh, some sort of the video and uh, sermon as well. Uh, today, um, it is such a great time to uh, get together in the name of Christ before we get started. It is called Summer School, a 2024 a Summer Juniper School um, Musical and Enrichment. Um, I prepared a little bit um, longer sermon today. I know you must be really tired because uh, you miss my sermon, right? Yeah, so you miss me. Yeah. Oh, see, Daniel Nam is evidence. Uh, thank you, by the way. I'll give you water, okay? All right. Um, this is the uh, Bible we're going to... Um, learn today and first Thessalonians chapter 5 16 to 18. I'd like to read for you. Be joyful always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances because this is God's will for you in Jesus Christ. I'm about to um, turning in the uh, 52 or 3 next year. Um, what I learned um, main lesson from my life so far, life is not easy. As long as I grow up, I'm aging, burdens and more pressure and responsibilities and a lot of pressure um, I do have on my shoulders. Um, what Jesus mentioned that you do have a lot of uh, burdens in your life. 2,000 years ago, many people came to Jesus Christ. Jesus, my life is not easy. My kids are sick. My husband, my wife is very, they're struggling physically and spiritually. They are born as blind. They're born as poor, uneducated. Our status always is called slave. Only few people, they're selected to live, it is called enjoy prosperity, which means the life of material money or finance. And many people came to Jesus and said, please save my life. Save my, give me another eternal life, which is what? Peace and maybe more light burden. What Jesus mentioned, Matthew chapter 20, 11 to 28, come to me and all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you, it is called rest, which is the, uh, here, yoke. A carrying burden, carrying some carrier to, you could just drag your own work, burden, homework. Because, once again, life is not easy as long as you grow up and easy. This is life. Abraham Lincoln, you know, the history, and one of the, famous presidents in America, even many uh, Christians really respect what he has done for the world, actually. But unfortunately, he went through many, it is called, sufferings, pains. What the history mentioned that he lost his run for Congress in 1843 and again in 1848. He lost his bid to become a U.S. Senator in 1855. He ran for Vice President of the U.S. in 1856 and lost. And he again ran for the U.S. Senate in 1859 and lost yet 
again. Many failures he experienced and went through. Nevertheless, he didn't give up, abandon on his life. And he became the president, a 16th US president in 1861. He made it. And another famous person you guys know, I know, is Michael Jordan. Fortunately, I watched his game in my life, actually. It was a Lakers game and versus the uh, Chicago Bulls um, when I was in the States. It was a really incredible memory and enjoyable, you know, the, what is called a, a, joy, a joyful to moment what I had seen his uh, awesome magic, you know, slam dunk, you know, many shots. Michael Jordan, what he mentioned, this is particular, his, you know, the bright positive his career, but what he confessed, interview that, I've missed more than 3,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life. Probably uh, if you experience this, the moment, you could have said, oh, I'm not talented, maybe shooting you know, basketball, or I'm not talented to win the games. But he ended up with this amazing career. Six times NBA championship, champion, and six times NBA final MVP, five, five times NBA most valuable player, 14 times NBA All-Star, three times NBA All-Star Game MVP, 10 times all NBA, NBA first team, all NBA second team. No one still hasn't broken this incredible, his records. He made it, he's successful because of what? This one, his failure, because of his failure. Facing giants, Many famous celebrities, even athletic stars, even you and I, we face this question, facing giants. In the book of, uh, it is called First Thessalonians, even mention about Paul mentioned facing giants in his life. And what he um, wrote down this book based on this history. It's written by Apostle Paul, and it's written around AD 50 to 51. And also, the second coming of Jesus Christ is the what theme, what he wanna convey, share with many church members. And what he mentioned that a second coming, which means they're in persecution. Many Christians, church members, they're really struggling and also fighting about this goal be faithful. Be faithful. Why? Governments of Roman empires, even the Jewish people, they try to look for Christians, any locations, and try to grab and kill and persecute. And then Paul, he was struggling with a physical illness, so more, more you know, let's say, um, you know, eyes. And then there, he has a physical uh, condition that was not decent, is really able to work on many things. And he wrote this letter to church members in Thessalonica. Uh, obviously, the location is this one here. It's a Greece area. And a really prosperous harbor location, which means many people live and work and business and quite educated people live there. And he established churches here. Once again, in this time, 2000 years ago, AD 50 and 51, most dangerous thing is this one, persecution. When you confess, I'm a Christian, I'm a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ, no matter what, you are going to be in jail. You are going to be in persecution. You are going to be faced, it is called facing, what is it? Death. Death. Where? On the cross, burning, or Colossians, which means like uh, Colossians, which means like wild animals. You're facing tigers, lions. You're about to die. One reason. What is it? Jesus Christ. Faith. 
in this situation, what Paul mentioned that First Thessalonians chapter one, six to eight verses, you became imitators of us and of the Lord because you welcomed the message in the midst of severe suffering with the joy given by the Holy Spirit. So you became a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. Which means Paul recognized the faith, their life, commitment in Christ as amazingly a gift and great well done. He, once again, he, Paul mentioned that Christians as church members in Thessalonica why they're a good job? Why they're really, really um, good, great Christians? Several things. Faith, action, love, commitment, hope, perseverance, which is patience. Where? In the midst of the severe suffering. Suffering. The question is this one. How? How they made, how they had this incredible faith in Christ. What the Bible mentioned, chapter 2, verse 2, we had previously suffered on, and been treated outrageously in Philippi, as you know, but with the help of our God, we dare to tell you his gospel in the face of a strong opposition. The yellow part is this one. It is called help of our God. In Greek, what they said, Parousia zomai. Parousia zomai. Under the interpretation means it is called boldness. Boldness. Strong confidence. When you have help of God, experience the encounter of this help from God, you are going to have faith. It is called what? Boldness. Confidence. You do have confidence to proclaim the word of God, no matter what, any persecution, any suffering, any pain moments, you are going to Christ with this faith. What be bold, which is a parousia zomai, is the Greek word Paul immediately mentioned to the church members in where? In Thessalonica. Great job. You do have this mind, boldness. Parousia zomai. And then we already recommended several things. Rest of the Bible verses, chapter 5. 13, love and live in peace with each other. When? In suffering moment. In severe pain moment. More severe what? Persecution moment. In dangerous moment. When you face giants, have this one. Love and live in peace with each other. Help the weak. And be patient with everyone. Please do not look at yourself. Do not be a self-centered person. Look around your right next person, neighbors, your friends, your family members. And pursue always what is good. You may face a lot of temptations, maybe manipulation, maybe some lot of in, unethical parts. Be, stand before God firmly. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Because God is with you. Help of our God. Perazazomai. You are going to have boldness. When you look at the Bible, many famous people, faithful people, David versus Goliath. How did he, uh, the, the David defeat or kill the Goliath? He's more than three, you know, height, tall meters actually, and he's a tiny, you know, small shepherd. How? Boldness. Perziazomai. What about Eliza? We know the juniper tree. He versus actually fighting about eight hundred fifty prophets. And then he, they were really uh, eager to kill one person, Eliza. Perazazomai, boldness. Last person, Moses, facing the giant, which is what? The ocean, Red Sea. 
and then the you know the Bob, which is the uh, the prince, uh, I'm sorry, the king of the, uh, the Egypt, the Pharaoh, he want to kill actually the what? Is the Moses, uh, 650,000 people of Israelites. What are they going to do? Pray and then look for the desperation about what? Miracles. Cross the, crossing the ocean. Parazomai. Today, we are facing giants in your life regardless of younger older even the adults we facing giants then what would you do before God so my school I'd like to wrap up this application part high schoolers you're going to take many academic burdens probably college prep you worry about your GPA you are worry about your maybe personality, friendships. Maybe you care about your friends, but maybe not many friendly people around you. Maybe your parents, physical illness. I have heard many of parents struggling with the financial situation. This, these days, the economic is not you know, outstanding. Many parents really desperate to be more prosperous or suitable to support you guys. Some of you guys, maybe younger students, maybe, um, maybe lack of motivation. I have no idea why am I here. Maybe I'm still struggling with English abilities. Maybe you may have some competition compared to others. Why he's better than me? Why she's better than me? Why I'm the only one quite academically behind? What about this one, musical? Well, I'm not talented or on the stage. I'm not confident to perform or cooperate with my friends. Still memorizing a line and then some, you know, choreographs is not that good. Many struggling. We've been doing many, many years about musical. Many reasons. However, some students come up with complaining. Come up with lack of confidence. Come up with low esteem, which means what? Lower confidence as well. But some students, too, may be arrogant. I'm better than others. Maybe I'm good at you know, this. A lot of, we have seen differentiations. However, what is the main purpose of this summer school and musical enrichment? We're going to experience about this one. Perazomai, help of our God, which means through this great facing giants opportunities, everyone, including myself, facing, experiencing. It is called boldness in Christ because God will be with you. God will help you and I in suffering and pain and even lack of confidence moment and any depression moment. He's going to be with us and speak to us. I am sure. And we're going to come up, confess, by verse this one. Let's read together one voice. One, two, three. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances, because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Enjoy your suffering. Enjoy your suffering. Enjoy your pain. Enjoy your happiness. Enjoy all moments you're going to go through next three weeks. Because one answer to this one, this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. We are living for this purpose. We are having this program for this purpose. Then we're going to end up with confession, what is what God has done for me and my life. Let's pray heads.